Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature that existed in Microsoft List, uh, create a, a rule, and now it's available for document library. So let's see how it is in document library. I can show you also how it is in, uh, in a list. So we're in a document library. You see there's four folders and actually under automate, I can have a rule and I can create a rule. Now I have four possibilities. Uh, when a new file has been created, when a file has been deleted, when a column value has changed, no matter what change, or when the value of the column specific value has changed. So let's try to do all of the rules and then see the notifications that have been sent by mail. So uh, when a new file has been created, I can choose either between me or somebody that was created by or modified or I can tap type a name. So you can see I can also type this. And in this case I will choose myself. I can put multiple people and I'll press Q8 and the rule is there. And now if I do something, uh, I will get a mail. I will create another mail when the file was deleted. So in this case I will choose me. And I will also create a rule when a column has changes. So I will choose a column for instance date. And I will say when it's changed no matter what, send it to me or to somebody. And the last one is when a column value has changed. So I will, when I can choose a column, let's say a status. And if the status is let's say IT, then send it to me. Okay, now we have four uh, rules. If I want to deactivate it, I just press uh, uh, like this. If I want to delete it, I can do the same. Let's just keep, keep it like that. Now let's see. So we have a notification when a file was created. So I will upload a file and hopefully we will also get a notification. So I have this file, it has been uploaded. See it's here. Now in the mail, I'm waiting and waiting. Let's wait a second and I'll pause it just for the sake of, okay, I'm back and I just got a mail that Ami Diamond added uh, this image and uh, I can go and see uh, the library. Uh, okay, so let's go back and actually this is strange that it's referring to uh, Microsoft list uh, value. It's actually not a Microsoft list, but that's I guess how it is. So uh, we got a notification when the document has been um, uploaded. Now uh, let's delete this uh, document for instance, and we should get also, sorry, mark it and press delete. And it has deleted it and I should get a message any minute to we see that it happened. I will put pause in order not to waste the time. Okay, we're back again and I got a message that the item has been deleted. If I click here, it brings, brings me back to this uh, document library, even though it's in Microsoft list. Okay, interesting. Um, so the next uh, rule that we would want to check is actually um, if a column has changed. So I will um, choose a column and um, and I will change the date because I have a rule any change in the date I will get a notification so I will go here to, and change the date let's see and I change it to the fifth so I will pause it for a second and uh, we'll be back in a second okay we're back and uh, I received um, a mail that says the Ami Diamond changed the due date 
uh, to this date and uh, this is the name of the document so the next thing we want to do is actually to to go back and uh, now we would like to not only change to get a notification for any change but we want to get for a specific value so we have a rule that if the status has changed to uh, IT then uh, we should get then and only then uh, we should get a notification so I will do the change I will uh, pause it for a second and we'll be back so we're back and now we have made a change so you see uh, the status has changed the status column has changed to IT and we get a notification so it's not only any change it's a specific change that we defined so actually um, we understood that um, the document library has a new rule under automate and we can actually uh, create these rules uh, in Microsoft list it's uh, quite similar it's just for items so if we go to our list and we go to automate and rules we see it, everything that relates to an item so um, but more or less it's the same concept so try it out and uh, have a good day and if you like my channel subscribe and see you in the next video goodbye